Friday the 11th of May. Now we have cows outside the tent. Morning cows. Okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Wake up with a nice blue sky. Fantastic. I was surrounded by cows this morning, but they seem to have wandered on up the meadow here, over there. So that's okay. <laughs> okay, but look at the day, it's even warm enough to sit outside. We can have our breakfast here. Jimmy's having an extra sleep. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Have a breakfast here, look at the view, and then we'll be off in a short while, climbing up the mountain, another 400 meters until we get to the summit of this pass here. But, uh, shouldn't be too bad. Looks nice. Okay, good, well, it didn't last long, but we managed to enjoy our breakfast in the sun. Yeah. I'm happy. Tend away in the dry, so that's yeah. good. I know it's raining. Uh, and <laughs> I was just changing the brakes on Meadow's bike, if they need for changing as well. Meadow and Jamie managed to pack the tent away. So that was lucky, just in time. <laughs> now we are standing with a musk, yeah. and it's not a baby you don't. You never have seen a musk before look like that, but here's. I think there are maybe four houses and here they have a little church. The roadside yeah, must be. Roadside. I've seen those, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe hmm. people who are travelling, they need to go to the mosque at the right time, maybe. I just look at the ones that have been mosque or a house and it's a boost. Yeah. Under the roof. yeah, it's a nice roof to shelter under here. So we'll wait here now <laughs> until yeah. he stops raining and we'll carry on. Okay, this is the little mosque, how it is inside. Mm. Yeah, the door's open, you can just go in if you're travelling and you need to do your lunchtime prayers or you can just go in there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Pretty good place to shelter as well if it starts thundering. <laughs> okay, so we're walking past this mountain in sunshine but we're not raining and hailing. So just been waiting an hour for it to stop. It seemed like it stopped but it started again. Let's see. Hope it stops soon before we get to the top. Okay, I was hoping to show you some great pictures of amazing mountains with blue sky. But can't do. We have to do it the hard way. In the rain and the cold. So we came up from yesterday morning through the valley there and the, we're getting pretty close to the top. Eight hundred and three meters. This is the highest that both Meadow and Jamie have ever climbed. And you? No, I've been up in this. But, uh, I don't know how to put my gloves on because my hands are so cold. Yeah, good. Now we're a bit cold, so now we need to get down again before it uh, freezes to death. So. Days ago, we could never dream we would need these big gloves again, <laughs> and now we do. So could we save these in the bottom of the bag? I'll go it down. Okay. Good. 
800 meters down again. So we're going out down to that lake down there. Yeah, nice scenery here. Actually, all the sky is blue again. We came up through the rain, so now the sky is blue. So now we just come down. That was a long downhill. Okay, a good road surface is finished. Back to my bumps. countryside village here in Turkey. A bit of place for our lunch today. This little place here, they can make toast, so I'll be good. I haven't seen any shops until now, so... <laughs> Lots of donkeys here. Yeah. Thanks, house. So, driving at the next lake. So we just stayed about an hour in that uh, little cafe in the town there. There's, look, there's a nice guy that came over talking to us, he could talk English. Gave uh, us some strawberries to eat. So now we just got to Beshia Lake, I think it's called. Nice colour lake. It's funny, it's like it's got a different colour look to us. down to the lake now and hopefully there's a place we can come down there we spot it on the map today we've seen more cows on the road than cars and trucks it's the day of cow on the road day Let's see if they'll let us buy this Cows, how's it going? Just having a walk around. It's an amazing colour this lake has. Huh. So, this will be the camping spot today. Next to Lake Bess uh, here, I think it's called. It was actually a Really nice spot a few kilometers before, but there was doing a lot of road looks there, so there's a lot of noise from, from the uh, workmen. So we found this spot on I Overlander up, so that was marked on there, so we came here instead of. But, uh, close to the road, but it seems to be quiet again, like yesterday. shortest day ever on this trip. We're back on the tent again, cooking. Okay. Again. Ten past seven. 
new location now for the tent. But it seems like we only just started today. And now we are already cooking dinner again. Um, on the camping spot up in the mountains, we enjoyed our breakfast this morning and had coffee and the sun and really nice and taking our time with and enjoying the scenery and the sun. As soon as we started packing away, then it started raining. Quite lucky though we got the tent down dry. And I repaired my bike with the bike pads in the meantime. But anyway, <clears throat> it started raining as soon as we got the tent down and there was like a little must train house something that we could just stand there in the shelter for the rain. We was waiting a long time there trying to decide whether just to go for it and, or wait. And then we went for it and it was raining and raining when we were biking up the mountain. But all of a sudden we was at the top and luckily it was dry there. So we could put some dry and warmer clothes on, big gloves and everything else. And then we could start biking down. And after a while we came to a little town and then we could buy some lunch. They made some toast for us which was really really nice. And when we finished eating that, it started raining again. And that was today, so really, really short day. Sometimes I think we do a lot in, in a day, and today we've done nothing, nothing really. So, apart from waiting for it to stop raining. Yes, apart from waiting for it to stop raining here in Turkey, it's cold. And Jamie has a bed Yeah, and Jamie is in beside the tent. He is not too well. He's having a rest now. Again, so he's got some bit of an aching stomach, so that's not so nice for him. We hope he'll be better tomorrow. Yeah, how are we eating our dinner now? That was a long video. Well, I can say one thing. Oh, we actually met so far in Turkey. We've hardly met anybody that talks English. Some of them say they talk English, but you ask them any questions and they understand nothing at all <laughs> absolutely nothing. Even though you say it slowly, they just understand zero really. Yeah. Which we're quite surprised that we thought. Another big, some more people could talk English, but uh, today's well, we've met three people I think so far since we entered Turkey that can actually <laughs> actually understand the question that you ask them <laughs> and answer back. So that's quite fun. Yeah. But, uh, so there's not many conversations we have with local Turkish people, but they're friendly enough and they give us lots of things and smiling. But it's not many that talk English really. Extremely <laughs> rare to meet somebody that can. Even people that work in hotels and yeah, they can't speak English. Either. Nothing at all, no. <laughs> So, yeah. the same people are friendly and waving at us uh, uh, from the cars. And when we talked to him today, he bought some strawberries and just came and sit with us when we were eating our toast and gave Jamie and the strawberries to take with us on the trip. So very friendly people again. But yeah, okay. We'll wait for the dinner to be ready now, and that's it for now. <laughs>